well based on thermodynamics we must have deep comprehensive knowledge about land breeze sea breeze and anomalous expansion of water including its merits and demerits actually land breeze and sea breeze are crucial factors of natural phenomena such as water cycle more clearly anomalous expansion of water is crucial for survival of aquatic creatures at the bottom of frozen lake in winter season of mountain region so it must be kept in mind that land breeze sea breeze and anomalous expansion of water are very crucial from scientific point of view and conceptual point of view as well first of all let's point out definition of breeze actually the gentle blowing wind from land to sea or sea to land is simply called breeze based on direction of blowing wind from land to sea or sea to land it is categorized into two types which are given below number 1 land breeze number 2 sea breeze at first let's point out definition of land breeze actually the blowing of wind from land to sea usually at night time is called land breeze here from the definition of land breeze it is clear that land breeze occurs at night time so let's move on to scientific reasons behind occurrence of land breeze at night time actually at night time the air molecules above the land are colder than air molecules above the sea consequently the density of air molecules above the land is greater than that of air molecules above the sea and hence wind blows from higher density to lower density resulting land breeze similarly let's point out sea breeze actually the blowing of wind from sea to land usually at day time is called sea breeze here from the definition of sea breeze it is clear that sea breeze occurs at day time so let's point out scientific reasons behind occurrence of sea breeze at day time in fact at day time the air molecules above the sea are colder than air molecules above the land consequently the density of air molecules above the sea is greater than that of air molecules above the land and hence wind blows from higher density to lower density resulting sea breeze apart from this anomalous expansion of water is one of the most important master points to keep in mind deeply in thermodynamics so let's move on to definition of anomalous expansion of water actually when water is heated from 0 degree centigrade to 4 degree centigrade its volume goes on decreasing however when the same water is heated from 4 degree centigrade onwards its volume goes on increasing this unusual behavior shown by water while heating from 0 degree centigrade to 4 degree centigrade is called anomalous expansion of water in general every matter expands on heating and contracts on cooling here we might have curiosity about how does volume of water decrease while heating from 0 degree centigrade to 4 degree centigrade in other words how does volume of water increase while cooling from 4 degree centigrade to 0 degree centigrade so to get deep concept about this let's move on to scientific reasons in fact 
when water is heated from 0 degree centigrade to 4 degree centigrade or cooled from 4 degree centigrade to 0 degree centigrade. Its molecules are arranged themselves into a crystalline structure as ice, creating more intermolecular space in comparison to the arrangement of molecules in liquid state. More clearly, the unique hydrogen bonding structure is the causative factor of anomalous expansion of water. Based on anomalous expansion of water, we need to point out different natural facts which are given below. Number 1. Ice floats on water. Number 2. It affects aquatic creatures in winter seasons of mountain region. Number 3. Water supplying pipe gets brushed in winter season of mountain region. Moreover, anomalous expansion of water consists of several merits, including survival of aquatic creatures at the bottom of frozen lake in winter season. Probably, we might have seen survival of aquatic creatures at the bottom of frozen lakes. However, we may not be familiar about scientific reasons behind this. So, let's move on to scientific reasons behind survival of aquatic creatures at the bottom of frozen lakes in winter seasons of mountain regions. Actually, the temperature of water falls below 0 degree centigrade in winter seasons of mountain region. Moreover, the density of water is the greatest at 4 degree centigrade, due to which the temperature of water becomes 4 degree centigrade at the bottom of frozen lake. However, the temperature of same water becomes 0 degree centigrade at its surface, resulting ranging of temperature from 0 degree centigrade to 4 degree centigrade while moving from top to bottom, and hence Aquatic creatures can easily survive at the bottom of frozen lake in winter seasons of mountain region. Moreover, specific heat capacity is one of the most important master points to keep in mind deeply in thermodynamics. So, let's move on to definition of specific heat capacity. Actually, the amount of heat required to rise the temperature of 1 kg substance by 1 degree centigrade is called specific heat capacity. Furthermore, the SI unit of specific heat capacity is joule per kg per degree centigrade. More clearly, the scientific reasons behind land breeze and sea breeze can be understood by the concept of specific heat capacity. Based on specific heat capacity, let's be clear about an example. The specific heat capacity of water is 4200 joule per kg per degree centigrade. What does it mean? Actually, the specific heat capacity of water is 4200 joule per kg per degree centigrade. It means 4200 joule of heat energy is required to rise the temperature of 1 kg water by 1 degree centigrade. Also, anomalous expansion of water consists of several demerits, including sudden bursting of water supplying pipes in winter seasons of mountain regions. Whatever scientific reasons have we got in earlier case of frozen lake, same concept is good enough here in sudden bursting of water supply pipe in mountain regions in winter seasons. Actually, the temperature of water falls below 4 degree centigrade in winter seasons of mountain region. Moreover, when the temperature of water falls below 4 degree centigrade, then its volume goes on increasing instead of decreasing due to anomalous expansion of water. Consequently, extreme pressure is exerted by the flow of water on the all of 
water supply in pipes in winter seasons of mountain region, resulting sudden bursting of water supply in pipes. Thank you.